Hello guys, welcome to the first visual effects news with Tip Paulino. And today we're here to cover the Techtober that's just going on and it's already blowing our minds. So this week we got the release of the new MacBook Pros with the M1 Pro chip and the M1 Max. Also the release of the Houdini 19 and an important update on the Arnold Renderer. All three are very important for the visual effects industry and are sure to make a huge impact. So let's jump right in. So starting with the MacBook, this year Apple just kicked the bucket with a brand new design for the exterior and the interior of the MacBook Pro. The Mac has many characteristics that are very interesting and it can be found in many other news websites all over the internet. But the most interesting for us visual effects artists are actually the performance uh, indicators. And this year it is just out of this world. What they're offering in terms of CPU performance and GPU performance could be a game changer for anyone working remotely that wants to take their computer to do their work anywhere in the world without having to be concerned about the, con the power that is necessary to run the heavy softwares necessary on the visual effects industry. With a CPU performance of up to two times faster than the Core E9 on the previous generation and a graphics performance up to four times faster, which some websites would claim that is equivalent to an RTX 3080 mobile. With this kind of performance, the MacBook is now a powerhouse that could be used by many artists as their main daily driver. Coming from Apple though, there's always a catch. It is a quite expensive equipment. So if you have the funds and the means to acquire one, it might be a good idea. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so second on the list is Houdini 19, an industry standard software. According to the community, it's been upgrading its workflow dramatically on each new iteration. Side effects is doing a great job. Grooming and muscle simulations are the ones that are closer to me. And in this new version, they are combining great artistic tools for look development with some outstanding simulations, generating some mind blowing results that we can see on the images right here. And in the muscle simulation, it is almost scary to see the kind of results they're getting right now. Houdini presents a great alternative for softwares like Ziva Dynamics. Houdini artists are getting some handsome salaries on the visual effects industry and maybe it's time that we get our feet wet on it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And lastly, we got our friend here, Arnold, which is the software of choice of industry leading facial modelers, such as Chris Costa and Hadi Karimi, being upgraded with integrated denoiser and a lot more extra control on the post-processing after the, the image is rendered. There's actually a big list of changes that are coming on this new version of Arnold and I highly recommend you go through it if it's of your interest. But I'm very happy to see that a software that is allowing so many artists to achieve photorealism on their modeling projects to be updated with this frequency and getting into this high levels of performance. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you're having as much fun as I am with this Techtober and I cannot wait to see what comes next. I hope you guys are having a great one and I see you on the next Visual Effects News.